Okay, so here we are. DJ KK is playing. It's a beautiful evening. I'm dancing with Flurry. I mean, what could be better? Well, maybe designing a new happy home paradise home. Oh, there is newcomer Poppy back there. Cute squirrel. Wonderful. And this is who we want to do today. I want a cool home straight out of a Western movie. How interesting. Hey there, cute little cub, a poncho. Oh, nice. Sounds like you might be a jock. A uh, poncho, I am looking forward to your theme. I am in that business. Oh my gosh. Of course I can help, poncho. This is what I do. You know what? The iron is not going to pump itself. Ooh, little bear. Cute. Okay, little bear. Uh, I will bring everything I have to the project. And show me your must-haves, Poncho. A prairie western home. Okay, not surprising to see the covered wagon. Interesting. Perhaps a little anachronistic with the fuel pump, but I uh, guess it all depends upon the time frame. I kind of think the covered wagon and the fuel pump would not be at the same time. <laughs> but maybe, maybe there was some overlap. And uh, a cactus. Okay, Poncho, this looks great. I just love fly, fi, finding uh, fly, finding clients at the music festival. I just so enjoy that aspect of the game. It is so cool to see. And, uh, you know, now that I am a goat designer, it's fun to, ha to go dance and see the whole um, reminiscings of all of a bunch of the the poems that have been designed, so that's fun too. Yes, it is a very cool concept, Lottie. Very interesting. And uh, since you had a cactus, um, I think we might do a desert island. Uh, and we kind of want some white... Oh, yes. Okay, since your cactus... In order for your cactus to fit right in, look at all these cacti here. Okay, Poncho, decision made. Let's go with this one. Oh, yes, I keep forgetting you're a jock. I don't know how much workout stuff there's going to be over there. I don't know how that fits in with our Western Prairie theme, but, uh, you know, we'll see, Poncho. We'll see. Don't you worry about this decision. We are absolutely going to do a two-level home so that I have all of my room to let my uh, creative powers run wild, Poncho. So we've got the location, we've got the floor plan. Yes, time to head out. Uh, yes, I'll be happy to lead Poncho to the site. Let's get going. Oh, look at all that glowing moss. I love it. Okay, Poncho, here we are. Your western prairie, your prairie western home is going to come to life here, little bear. Oh, I should invite you to my island. You are really kind of adorable. Uh, let's see what kind of items we have here. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, that is no surprise. Oh, <laughs> got some skeletons in your closet, Poncho. Interesting. Oh, some horses. Oh, we could have those pulling the covered wagon. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, some good items here. I feel like we've got to get you in a cowboy hat. <laughs> I mean, there's no two ways about that. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, Poncho, well, you just give me some time and I'll see what I can come up with for you. All right, Poncho, let's take a look at your Prairie Western home. So, first of all, you are decked out in the Outback hat and the Western shirt. Nico's also wearing an Outback hat. You look like real cowboys. Might be a cowboy shirt, actually. Um... And you can see we've got a couple of covered wagons outside of town here being pulled by horses. They might be springy ride-on rides, but they're horses in the game. And uh, then we have a very slowly moving windmill here. Don't know how much power that's drawing, but there you go. Here is your house that is like a little log cabin with a horseshoe on the door. We have your cowboy boots right by your front door. 
We have a water pump here and a bucket nearby. We've got a couple of horses eating from this hay. You can see the silo in the distance as well as I put a few more uh, cacti behind here. Uh, just to kind of really give this continuous feel for the rest of the desert. And you can see some of those um, plateaus in the distance. And uh, have a little campfire here, a milk jug, mm. uh, so a laundry, um, what is that, a washboard. Got some bottles mm. on top of that barrel in back, uh, some laundry that's hung up, and a butter churn. So uh, just a real western prairie feel uh, here. And I'm just really happy how this turned out with those uh, fronts there extending from your house. I just think that looks really kind of cool. Let's take a look inside, Poncho. So Poncho, on your first floor, I envision this as the saloon. And we can see that up at the bar, we've got some food and drink. Behind the bar here, we have some drinks available, as well as a pitcher and a big old pot of chili here. A little wanted poster on the wall. Uh, some loaves of bread on top of that barrel. The, these bags on top of this box. We've got some pickled veggies here. Another bucket here. Uh, treasure map here at this table. Some cards being played at this table. The requisite, you know, piano in the saloon here. Um, could be playing a little bit of a tune along your, along with your Western music here. Got the uh, wooden deer head over the bar, guitar. And then, uh, oh, the nice candle chandelier above. And then I kind of see, you know how the saloon often has those doors that sort of swing back and forth. I thought those partitions kind of looked a little bit like that. And we have a couple of rocking chairs out here on this porch, as well as a horse uh, next to some hay here, a few more uh, cactus plants uh, outside. Oh, and some boots here right at the front in Trenza as well. So really liked this saloon feel here on your first floor, Poncho. I hope you enjoy it as well. Let's take a look upstairs. So finally, Poncho, in your upstairs, I again kind of wanted to do a little town and so you can see the uh, plateaus in the distance or the bluffs uh, kind of reminds me of Arizona or something we have kind of this crossroads going through town with uh, the two um, uh, uh, stage coaches uh, heading through town we've got a box there all of those fronts kind of giving the feel of this very, you know, kind of a small town here that's maybe along a path uh, or a road that travelers go by. A wanted poster, a uh, directional sign. We've got a bucket on top of that, uh, that barrel there. And so, yeah, just kind of the feel of the prairie, the feel of the Old West. That's kind of what I was trying to evoke here. And used a flooring, and I'm sure I've used this wallpaper before, but this flooring, this, this uh, kind of parched flooring, parched desert flooring, never, I don't think I've ever used that poncho. So I really appreciate it. I love it when a villager's idea inspires me to use a piece from the game that I've just really never found a use for before. So thank you, poncho. So, Pancho, all of your required items are out here. Uh, the cactus and the stagecoach. And then actually also this, uh, I really hid it back there, but in the very back by the silo and behind a cactus, I have the gas pump. I just wasn't going for that time frame. So I actually, I really have it hidden. So if on your tour, you sneak back there, that's going to be kind of funny. But anyway, since all of your required items are in this area, I'm going to uh, have you do your formal tour here. Oh, it's ready, little bear, and I can't wait for you to take a look around. Seriously, yes, your power fortress is complete. And though maybe I didn't put any workout equipment in it, there's plenty to do in the Old West. Well, look at your prairie western home. That's a really good view from down below there. 
Nice. Take a look around. Oh, yeah. The little springy ride. Yeah. It's a real horse. It's a real horse, Poncho. Yay. Oh, my gosh. The cubs are so cute. Oh, I was happy to make your dream a reality, Poncho. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Yes, you're right, Poncho. I should absolutely take some pictures, and I will absolutely do that. Yeah, I sure will. Uh, but listen, as soon as I finish that, I'm going to take off, so I'm going to close the video here. But I've sure enjoyed working with you, Poncho.